Hello, I'm Gilly Bashan and I run cookery workshops and a food and whiskey sort of events experience here in my home in the Cairngorms in these lovely hills where we get a lot of lovely wild aromatics. So today I'm just going to share with you a few that we find at this time of year which is actually August. So amongst all those lovely wild berries that we get in the hills at the moment we've also still got uh, sweet Sicily and sweet Sicily is used a lot with things like rhubarb in sweet things. People like to combine it with sort of milky things. It has this lovely sort of aniseedy flavour, aniseedy fennelly sort of um, aroma and flavour. And it's one of those plants that actually smells the same way that it tastes. And I also use the seeds. I roast the seeds of the sweet Sicily. And, um, and then you can, you can actually just crunch on them just like that, but also you can grind them and use them in savoury breads as a flavour. The Sweet Sicily itself, um, I use a lot uh, just adding it into salads, adding it into other steamed vegetables like kale and spinach, and then making a syrup with it which can be used with all sorts of things. And I know lots of people add it to things like rhubarb. Another herb that we find at the moment, a, a lovely wild um, aromatic, is spignol. And spignol is quite special because you don't find it everywhere. And it, it really is my favourite um, of all of the wild aromatics. We kind of call it moorland dill, but really it's kind of dill, fennel. There's a few other aromatics in there like cumin and that's not surprising because it is related to the carrot family and therefore the parsley family. It's very um, versatile, you can just use it like you would dill, it goes beautifully with fish, you know smoked salmon and um, smoked halibut and other herring, all sorts of fish but it really goes with almost anything and like uh, cumin and parsley it goes brilliantly with beans because it has that element in it which um, aids any sort of flatulence and your digestion as well. Um, another one that we get a lot of here um, is bog myrtle. Now bog myrtle is a, one of those plants that has a gorgeous aroma. It almost reminds you of things like mountain sage and mountain thyme in the Mediterranean because it has such a kind of warming aroma to it but it doesn't actually taste how it smells and if you use it fresh it's quite green and quite bitter but if you dry it you hang it upside down so that all of the oils go into the leaves and you get you just capture the aroma you can grind it and then add it to marinades and um, dressings and things like that even a syrup if you want so we quite often uh, make uh, maybe lamb kebabs or um, we might uh, roast a, a whole piece of lamb in a pit oven, a rock oven, and we'll make uh, a paste with spices but use the dried leaves of the bog myrtle in there to just pick up that aroma and bring that little bit of Scottishness into it. And then the one that I'm going to use today is juniper. Now we all know juniper and most people use the ripe purple black berries of the juniper which are sweet and um, have a slightly chewy texture. Often people use them dried but you can use them fresh. But I'm actually going to use these lovely little green berries. So not the ones that are halfway turning but the ones that are super bright and green and I'm going to make a paste with them. They're so juicy and they have this lovely gin flavour in them. So I'm going to just show you a little thing that I do with them and I'm going to combine it with these leaves which are hedge garlic and um, you can add these into salads and you can use them, um, you can steam them if you want but they're lovely fresh because they actually have this sort of very faint garlicky mustardy taste and I'm actually going to use them today in a little sort of canapé that I prepare for my whiskey clients who come from all over the world so I like to give them a little something that's picking up from the aromas of our landscape combined with smoked salmon. So just to show you what I'm doing I've got a mortar and pestle over here and in my mortar and pestle I've got um, those green juniper berries, I've got garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and I'm just going to pound away to make sure that it gets down to a paste. You want to make sure it's quite pasty because there is a grit to the 
uh, green juniper. And although the grit is actually lovely, because texture is always lovely in food, um, you don't want it to be too gritty. So we'll get it right down to a nice smoothish paste. And then I'm just going to lift it with a little squeeze of lemon. And then I'm going to work in a little bit of creme fraiche. It doesn't have to be creme fraiche. You can use um, soured cream, you can use a nice thick yogurt and a little squeeze of honey. And then just work that in to make the paste more creamy and the mix of flavours. There we go, and we've got a lovely paste there that now is delicious with any kind of fish. It's actually delicious with other things. In fact, my children often just dip bread into it and use it like a dip. So I'm going to bring that over here. And over here, I've got some little chunks of salmon fillet, very lightly smoked over um, whiskey barrels, sitting on these hedge garlic leaves. And I'm just going to spoon a little bit of this onto each one. Doesn't really matter where. You can make it as pretty as you wish. Just onto each one. Just hold that up so you can see a little better. And then the whole idea is that you present these as a little canapé, but you don't have to worry about how they're eaten because you use it like a little taco. So you pick up with the leaves and you hold your little canapé in your fingers and you munch on it like a taco. That's a little taste of the cairngorms right there in my hand. Delicious. I hope you enjoy making something like that at home.